Good morning. Today we're here at Costco. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Now, the last time we were at Costco, somebody asked if I would point out the Duracell batteries. No better time than now. They are on sale. Regular price $20.99 now, which is up from $19.99, but it is on sale for $17.99 for 40 batteries this week. It's a pretty decent deal. Well, guys, we know Jess is happy. Looks like Costco has got out all their Christmas stuff. Giant trees. I wonder how much some of these are. Ooh, look at this. Almost $1,200 for this Griswold family Christmas tree. That's a lot of money for a Christmas tree. Luckily, we've already got ours. We got ours from Walmart. One about half that size for about 100 bucks. Has all the lights on it. So we got a comment on the Pirate's Booty Multi-Pack Popcorn. Uh, we didn't see this at Sam's Club. They only have the big bags. I will say this did go up a dollar from the last time we were here. It was $10.99, now $11.99. We are noticing a few price increases here at Costco. I remember the last time we came here, the Doritos were $5.99. Now they're $6.79. The last time we were at Costco, we saw the two bags of Cheez-Its. Um, they only have one box. They've got a lot more in now. It is $8.99. These were $8.49 the last time we were here, so it went up a little bit. But uh, this is a good deal. Two bags, uh, 48 ounce, three pounds total of uh, Cheez-Its in here. So that's not too bad of a price, all considering. They do have the 18 stacks of Ritz crackers here for $7.99. That is a pretty good deal. Uh, the regular size box of Ritz crackers only has four. And regular price of those is $4 a box. So yeah, you're getting a ton more here. Um, yeah, not a bad deal. I remember back when we first got our uh, Costco membership, somebody was asking us to check and see if they had the Kirkland Organic Animal Crackers. They do. It's the first time I've seen them here. They are $10.99. $10.99. This is a big thing of them, though. The last time we were at Sam's Club, somebody was asking about the Royal Basmati Rice. Thought I would point it out. Here it is, $20.49. little higher than it is at Sam's Club. Um... But yeah, they definitely got a lot more than they had in. That's good to see. And they also have the uh, Kazana. Kazana. Somebody was asking about this one. Basmati Rice, the 10-pound bag for $10.99. So a little more pricey, but they do have it. I will say, if you are looking for different rice options and to buy in bulk to save a little bit of money, Costco seems like the way to go. They have way more options than Sam's Club does, at least our Sam's Club. Uh, somebody was asking about the organic riced cauliflower, the six, eight and a half, the eight and a half ounce packets here, eleven ninety nine for these, um, and they do have it. I know somebody was saying that your Costco didn't have it. Looks like they got them in been a lot of talk of sun-made raisins on the channel lately so i'd point out they have these uh two reclosable bags uh totaling two two pounds each for twelve dollars and 49 cents of the organic uh sun-made raisins here 12 49 two 32 ounce bags that's a pretty good deal they do sell the annie's organic variety packs here we got a couple comments on this the last time we were here um we're always getting comments on annie's macaroni and cheese some of the organic some of the gluten-free ones um they do have this variety pack here 17 dollars and 49 cents uh, that sounds a little pricey but one of these boxes uh can it can be anywhere from three to 3.99 a box so that is a good deal somebody had asked if i would check out hellman's mayonnaise uh, i don't know if you want this one big or if you have a membership to uh costco but they've got the 64 ounces two quarts of Hellman's mayonnaise for nine dollars and forty nine cents. Uh, Thirty ounces in Kroger or Meyer is six dollars to six forty nine. So this is definitely a great deal. Uh, and more importantly, they haven't. I know a couple people have said they haven't been able to find Hellman's lately. It has been low in a lot of our stores. We've had dozens of comments on the Kirkland chunk chicken breast. At least at our Costco, it is still $15.59. Some people have been saying that it's gone up to $19 at some of your uh, Costco's. So still the same price here, which is, is good to see. Um, we, we're loaded down on the members mark right now, so we're still kind of getting through that. Uh, but we will get to this and try it eventually. Might buy it up today, actually, because uh, next time we come here, it might not be that cheap. <laughs> 
does look like their cream of soup Campbell's did go up here. Uh, they're twelve forty nine now. They were eleven ninety eight the last time we were here, making them a dollar a can. We were talking about that, um, which now you know it's a little over a dollar a can. Still cheaper than what we're paying in the grocery stores at a dollar fifty a can. So, uh, but it is right about the same as um, Sam's Club. Last time we were here, somebody was asking about the Kirkland organic salsa. We did not see any. This was not here the last time. Um, they do have it. I noticed that the price went up. This was $7.99 the last time we were here. Like I said, a little over a month ago. Um, $8.99 now for two 32-ounce jars. Um, yeah, I mean, doesn't sound like too bad of a price, but we are definitely noticing things have gone up here, too. Kind of expected that, um, but, you know, we're, we're checking it out. Looks like the Olive Garden Italian dressing went up here too. This is $8.90. We're seeing a lot of things at $8.99 that were $7.99 the last time we were here. Lots of dollar raises in just a month. Now we have seen ranch dressing kind of go up in price lately. A lot of dressings and mayonnaise and stuff like that have gone way high in price. Now the 240 ounces of the Homestyle ranch dressing here was $9.99. Now, it might have been on a little bit of a sale or something, but it is $11.89 now. So that is almost $2 more than what it was the last time we were here. Wanted to check out some of the flour and sugar, see if they're getting their baking items in. These are things that um, hundreds of people have been talking about on the channel. Uh, just to make sure we can get these in before the holidays. I know a lot of people have been saying that sugar and flour have been low in a lot of your stores. Costco is another option. You do have to buy a little in bulk. But it's good to have it than not have it. One thing is for sure. Jessica loves Costco. Okay, so we had a couple people the last time we came to Costco asking about the Arden Mills all-purpose flour 25-pound bag. Um, and that you didn't have any. Well, I will say they are pretty low and there is none up in the rafters here. Uh, but ours does have it. It is $11.99 for the 25 pound bag here. That seems like a good price. I've never uh, used this flower before, but we did have some people swear by it here uh, at Costco. So, yeah. They also have the King Arthur all purpose flower for $9.49 for a 12 pound bag. Kroger is probably the most expensive I've ever seen on this. $6.49 for a five pound bag. So, uh, if you're going by those numbers, this is a great deal. Of course, we can find it at Meyer for $5.39 right now, um, but chances are it's probably going to go up there too. This has been this price both at Costco and Sam's Club. They also have the Pioneer Powdered Sugar 50 pound bag. We got a comment on this a long time ago, even before uh, we had come to Costco. People were asking if we shopped at Costco. Uh, we do now, and they do have these in $28.99 for a 50 pound bag. One thing is for sure, if you don't mind spending a little bit and buying in bulk, you're going to get good deals here at Costco. What I like most about Costco, between here and Sam's, it seems like they have a lot more options here. This store is huge. Like, I did a little bit of walking around uh, to see some of the things I wanted to point out that you guys have asked about. Some of the sugar, the powdered sugar was one that we had gotten comments on before we even shopped here. Uh, so I wanted to check that out. And, uh, but I gotta say, it is a little overwhelming. This is our third time at Costco ever, so I'm trying to go around and find a lot of the things that you guys have asked about, about shopping at Costco, and they are kind of scattered about, kind of hard to find. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I did want to show that they have a lot of different spices here. Um, crushed red pepper here. We've got nothing but good comments about the Kirkland brand. Uh, some of this stuff, we, we still need to try a lot of Kirkland products that we haven't yet. We've tried a lot of Members Mark from Sam's Club, but not as much Kirkland. Somebody was asking about the Famous Dave's Original Recipe Cornbread. Uh, it was our first trip here. It is $6.89 for the four pouches. More importantly, they have it in. I was looking for this the last time we were here. They didn't have it. I did notice that most of the cereals that I'm looking at here are the exact same price here as they are at Sam's Club. <laughs> okay, so I noticed two things here. One, looks like all they have is the old-fashioned oats here, uh, the Quaker, um, and they are twelve seventy-nine. These were eleven ninety-nine the last time we were here. Now, this they did go up, 
But I do think that Sam's Club went up first. They are $12.79 as well. So kind of funny that a lot of these products are the same prices here and there. I know they're similar uh, when it comes to like warehouse buying in bulk. I wonder if this has something to do with the manufacturer. Okay, well, I don't know what happened here, but the last time I bought these, our first trip to Costco, they were $12.99. That was only a couple months ago, a few months ago, maybe. Uh, $14.99 now, so that has gone up uh, $2 uh, in just a couple months. That's crazy. One thing I do like about Costco is it's a much better deal on the Del Monte canned vegetables. They come out to $0.59 cents a can, as to where at Sam's, they're getting closer and closer to a dollar a can. Now, one interesting thing, they do have these sweet peas here, which is over a dollar a can. These are about the same price. This is, I believe it's $8.68 at Sam's, $8.69 here. So these are over a dollar for the sweet peas. They do have the green beans. They have a lot more too. Sam's has been very low on the Del Monte canned vegetables lately, but uh, the cut green beans, 61 cents a can. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, on to one of our favorite spots in any video. They do have the Pete's Whole Bean Coffee here. Uh, some people were asking about this. It is only $11.99 right now. It says expires on the 23rd of October. So you might want to look into that. Regular price, $16.99. Uh, minus $5 instant savings. It's pretty good. Limit also, you can only buy up to five of them. People were saying they haven't been able to find the French roast whole bean. They do have them here at Costco. It is $19.99 for a two and a half pound bag. Does seem like they have a lot of whole bean options here. Uh, they've got the Kirkland Signature House Blend, which we've gotten a lot of comments on that this is really good. Um, no price. So I don't know if they're getting ready to change the price. Uh, like I said, but this is our third trip ever to Costco, so I'm still kind of getting used to the, the layout of the land here. Uh, we've gotten some good comments on the Colombian Supremo, and this is $19.99 for a three-pound whole bean bag. Also, yes, this is the whole bean right here. Um, let's see, we've got the whole bean Kirkland Signature French Roast, which some people are comparing this to Starbucks, saying that it tastes just like the Starbucks. Uh, it is two and a half pounds for $12.99. It's a good deal. They do have the medium roast ground coffee. You know, some people were saying that your prices had gone up, that they were $12.99 and now they're $14.99. Ours finally did too. These were $12.99 before. Now it's been a while. Um, it's been a couple months probably since we've seen these here or went over them. Uh, $14.99, you know, coffee's been going up all over the place. Uh, they do have the Tim Horton ground coffee that somebody asked about a while back. Three pound can for $16.99. Uh, that's funny, it's the only place I've seen these big cans here. I, I usually only see the pods, the Keurig pods at Sam's Club. They also have the 100% ground Colombian coffee here. Other Kirkland Signature, uh, three pound can for $16. Um, and then they do have the Maxwell House here, the big one, 48 ounce, three pound container for $10.99. That is a great deal. Uh, and that is up from $9.99 a while back. but. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to point out Maxwell House more. It is just the original roast, so keep that in mind. About the same deal as we got at Sam's Club here, but some people have Sam's Club memberships, some people have Costco, so this goes out to everybody. Uh, 43 and a half ounces, the shrinkflated, because this was 51 ounces also here at Costco a couple months ago when we first got our membership. So both of these sizes are the same at Sam's and Costco, and right about the same price. I have a feeling this is going to be going up. $12.69, but it was right about the same price as the one at Sam's Club. But I do have a feeling these are going to be going up soon. Um, let's see. And they've got the... Oh, this is nice. 12 of each variety here. Some of the Green Mountain. Regular... Uh, that's nice if you want to try something new. I'm not real big on Newman's Own. $36.49, though. Let's see. How many is that total? 72. Okay, so... A few dollars less than what you would pay for this much of Starbucks, plus you get a lot of different variety there. So these prices have stayed the same on the Kirkland Pods, the Pacific Bold, and the Breakfast Blend. Uh, $36.99 was the price, um, but when we first came here a couple months ago, they were $33.99. So yeah, I was curious where the Duncan and the Pikes Place were. What's funny is they actually, they know these are the most popular, so they put these right next to each other. I like that. I like that. I think it's kind of funny. Um, but they are, uh, uh, Duncan is actually a dollar cheaper here 
than it is at Sam's Club and the uh, Starbucks, same price, $41.89 uh, for the 72 count. Okay, so one thing we have never checked out here at Costco is their toilet paper. Now, I will say this is 30 rolls. Uh, you get 45 at Sam's Club. Not sure the sheets per roll. Let me know down in the comments if you do know. They are only $20, $19.99 for these. Sam's Club has gone up to $21.72 for their 45 large rolls. But it doesn't say large or anything. Thicker than ever before. <laughs> but we have gotten some good comments on their toilet paper, so I didn't want to point it out. So same price as Sam's Club on the paper towels, the Kirkland Signature Premium Towels here. I don't know, like they actually feel like they might be a little thicker than the one at Sam's Club. We may have to try these at some point. It is the same price, $18.99. The ones at our Sam's Club did go up to $18.99. Maybe I should pay attention to the sheets per roll. Because <laughs> I really don't know, like... Um, if this is a much better paper towel, I do like Sam's Club paper towels mostly because of the price, but they are pretty thin. For a lot of things, you got to use uh, two of the two halves, which is a whole one, I guess. But um, yeah, we've also gotten great comments on this. I wanted to point it out it is the same price as Sam's. Did you know that we're out of paper towels? What? So I guess we're going to have to try them then. <laughs> we didn't plan this like we were going to pull this one off the top, did we? Sure did it. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. For letting me know that. I just remembered that you pulled Yeah. Well, no, we want to try them anyway. We are loaded down on toilet paper, so we're going to wait on that. It is a good price, but it is only 30 rolls. You know the Sam's Club rolls, you get 45 of them. Of what? The toilet paper. Oh. But I don't know. They might be smaller rolls. Yeah, maybe. I think it was 300 sheets. Let me check again. Yeah, so 30 rolls, 380 sheets per roll. So we'll have to find out what Sam's Club is with their 45 rolls, how many it is per roll. Do the math on that. Again, Sam's Club is $21.78. This is $19.99, so it is significantly cheaper. So if it does have more, this might be the better deal. Not sure yet. I found this funny thing. It's what the advent calendar, but it's for dogs. <laughs> so each door oh, so it's got things. dog treats on it? It's like treats and toys and balls. And oh. I thought that was cute. That is pretty cool. <laughs> How much are they? $38.99. $38.99. Wow, that is quite an expensive dog treat. But if you love your dogs, yeah, something for Christmas. It's special. That's kind of fun. That's cool. So Jessica just pointed out to me, the last time we were here, these were $9.99. We bought one. Um, but she said it was on sale. It was one of the sale, cl uh, not clearance, but one of the sales that they do. It is $12.99, though, regular price. I will say these cheeses are very good. Broccoli and cheddar soup. Oh, man. Kirkland brand. Kirkland brand? It's on sale for $7.49. So the one we got last time was Members Mark, right? Yeah, and this is delicious. Is it? You like it? I know you weren't too big of a fan of the Members Mark. The Members Mark is very mustardy. This is oh, that's cheesy. Right. Very okay. cheesy. Okay. We may be buying this. <laughs> <laughs> we need to try some Kirkland products. Yeah. Uh, people were asking us to try some, so we'll take one for the team. It's good. Let me try it. Let it be known that I really like them. I like this is the very tiniest spoon ever, also. It's like one of those spoons you get in the little tuna packet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, See, it's so good, isn't it? That is really good. I like the Members Mark, too, though. I like how there's little chunks. I feel box. like there is in that one, too. Oh, yeah, there's one. That is really good. It has a very good cheesy flavor to it. We might have to get this. We're definitely getting it. This tastes way better than Sam's broccoli. <laughs> so you, the difference is, is you, the Sam's one's a little more mustardy. The Sam's, okay, I'm not a big mustardy fan. And this tastes just like broccoli cheese soup. Like, it should. Yeah. It tastes like cheese, yeah, it's, not it's like mustard. It's really cheesy. And it's on sale for $7.49. For the two pack. What's it normally? Nine ninety nine. Yeah, so that's awesome. And she said that it can freeze really well too. So if you wanted to buy something, to freeze it up. Yeah. Should we buy two? And we might should. I mean, it's on sale. And it's cool weather season, so really this good. is yummy. Plus, we got our favorite uh, bagels to dip it in. Yeah, our uh, cheese Parmesan bagels. cheese bagels. These are awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a winning combination. Do have to be careful when you're doing tastings. I grabbed one of the tiramisu's, and it has coconut water and a little bit of coconut in it so glad i caught myself before i ate that also there was another coconut option so really check the ingredients of some of these things before you do like a taste testing because 
That might have been bad. Well, it looks like we're starting to get quite the mother load here. Yeah, I'm spending all your money. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're ultimately saving by buying in bulk like this. And we're getting Christmas presents for people. Oh, yeah. Decent prices on some steaks right here. They got some uh, New York strips here. $9.99 per pound. I had to double check there. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. USDA choice. I'll tell you what, if you like pumpkin pie, this might be the place to go. This is uh, enormous. We've had two employees tell us this is the best pumpkin pie it's so only far. $5.99. So. $5.99? Yeah. Look how big that is. It's like as big as my face. It's way bigger. <laughs> $5.99, get it. I don't like pumpkin pie. I know. <laughs> that makes it all the better. That's why that lady said she ate it all herself. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, these do look really good. Is that... Oh, okay, I thought it was a little runny there, the way it looked. No, but... it's just the way that... Yeah. Wow. Boy, that looks awesome. One thing is for sure, they have a lot of different fish items got a lot of different shrimp got some crab legs down here a lot more options here at costco uh let's see we got some fresh whole bronzino some bronzino wow i haven't seen that in forever they do have some tilapia here fresh whole tilapia let's see we got some fresh tilapia fillets got some salmon here I don't know if this is the salmon I usually get. This is the, yeah, steelhead fillets. I'm not, I like the Alaskan. Um, let's see, they got the, yeah, here, the Atlantic salmon. That's what I meant. Um, let's see, it is $11.99 a pound, a little pricey. Uh, but yeah, they, at least they got a lot of this in here. That's good to see. So they do have some walleye here too. Just notice this. This is good eating right here. $9.99 a pound. That's a little pricier than I've seen it in place. I've seen it at $7.99 in some places, but haven't seen any in a while. They do have it in. And they got these boneless pork bellies here. $4.50 off per package. We'll be taking a register. Okay, so this big, huge one here. 11.28 uh, pounds. So $4.50 will be taken off that. So about $45 for that right there. That doesn't seem like too terrible of a price. That's a lot of meat. They do have the 18 ounce organic blueberries. We got a couple comments on the last time, the last time we were here. Uh, they didn't have in the 18 ounce ones. They are $6.49. Okay, well just found the mandarins. Here they are, five pounds for $7.39. Uh, that's about what it is everywhere. I don't feel like we're gonna find many deals. We never find good deals on produce at Sam's Club and I, I don't really expect the last time we were here I noticed a lot of things were kind of expensive uh, that being said eight pounds of oranges for ten dollars and fifty nine cents that makes them about five and a quarter five twenty six per five pound per four pounds that's about regular so I mean we're not in some places some places are gonna be a little more Myers for uh, four pounds it's like six ninety nine so maybe a little bit better but not much see like this here these are the same melons watermelons that they have at kroger right now around here and they are 6.99 here they i haven't seen them over 5.99 anywhere around here um so yeah this is definitely a dollar more than it is everywhere else so five pounds of the peruvian on onions last time was 5.99 they are 6.99 now um yeah i don't know they don't look like they're getting bought up either because you know, everybody these days, I think every, a lot of people are catching on. Like, if you don't get a good deal on this, people just ain't going to buy it. They'll buy it somewhere else. I know a lot of people on the channel have always asked about the Sun Gold Zespri Kiwi Fruit. Just wanted to point out, it is on sale this week. Uh, let's see, expires 10 16. Oh, wait a minute, that's tomorrow. Oh, nuts. Okay, well, normally, <laughs> so I guess it'll be ten ninety nine tomorrow. It is eight ninety nine today. But you guys won't see this video till tomorrow, so I don't know. Ten ninety nine for three pounds is still an okay deal, though, because we've been seeing one pounds of these go anywhere from three ninety nine to four ninety nine, and they do have the three pounds of the green kiwi fruit here for six dollars and ninety nine cents. That's a pretty good deal. We've seen these go for three ninety nine a pound, so yeah, not too bad here. Okay, deal on Dole pineapples. I will say these are kind of small, kind of small. But they are only $1.99. We have been seeing pineapples go up in price lately. 
So these are two pounds of the Campari tomatoes for four dollars or for five dollars. Now we normally see a one pound for two ninety nine, so not much of a savings here. We have seen these on sale lately too for two forty nine a pound. So this is two pounds for five dollars, right about the same price we're going to pay in Kroger or anywhere else. Had some comments on pears and plums lately, so I thought I would point these out. Six dollars and seventy nine cents for four pounds of plums is an okay deal. $9.49 for four pounds of pears is a terrible deal. I mean, I know they've been going up, but geez, that is just way too much. Guys, well, we are back from Costco. Um, yeah, prices are going up. It's going up everywhere. We noticed a lot of price increases, but, you know, still, when you buy in bulk at, like, Costco and Sam's Club, you do get some good deals. We did see a lot of good deals. Again, that was only our third time. I know I've said this throughout the whole video, but third time at Costco, so... Uh, we need to just, just said that we need to spend a day, maybe not do a video, and like <laughs> look around and check everything out because I am getting caught off guard with a lot of new stuff. You know? And it's Christmas time now, so they have all kinds of different things out that they probably don't always have. Yeah, just is caught off guard with all the Christmas stuff. <laughs> well, guys, uh, oh, and we got the cheesecake. Uh, yeah, low it is so good. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm about to try a piece. Just tried a little piece. Um, a lot, I've heard, you guys have said that a lot of their pies and the cheesecake was really good. Uh, they do have the pumpkin pie for $5.99. We didn't get that this time. We might get that uh, eventually. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out there. Bye.